All right, today we have Generations Hoist. So this is a green uh, tow truck. And you can see the nice tempo graphs there. Uh, nice Autobot symbol. Uh, it's all green. It should, they should put on a little bit more paint there. Uh, the top has a head visible. The little hook, you can move it around. And it rolls okay. Right, on the bottom, not much robot parts there, which is great. We can remove the hook and we can transform this little hook into a gun. This gun is pretty cheesy looking. Doesn't look like anything, but oh well. All right, let's transform this guy. First, you pull the legs apart. You can uh, swivel them around and click them in, just like so. The toes come out, and that's it for the legs. Right, to get the arms out, swivel that over, and then we're going to pull them apart and swing those wheels around. Just like that. The hands you can pull open and then close the flap there. And again, well that one's already closed because I pushed it. Very easy, to, very easy to do. All right, let's get the chest up in there so we're going to push this Autobot symbol in here and we're going to tab in uh, that little thing into that hole there goes right in and then for the front grill we're going to have to uh, accordion that thing in and there you go it doesn't really clip on anywhere grab the head spin it around head then we're going to do the arms the shoulders so that you sew that around and you clip that right onto the uh, the side mirrors just like so then you fix the arms so they face forward and that is it so this is generations hoist I think it looks pretty good. Um, it could use a little bit more paint, but this is the cart cartoony-ish uh, Transformers. All right, there he is with the gun. And let's take a closer look at his articulation. You can turn his head around. Oh, you can actually uh, click it so it the head stays, just like that. All right. There's his arm. It does have bicep swivel, which is good. And nothing on the wrist. On the back, the black looks a little bit hollow. And no ankles at all. All right, it can, uh, has thighs of swivel and the bend at the knee at 90. And it does have a waist swivel, which is always great. So there he is. Okay, let's transform him back. So first, take his gun out. And we're gonna fold his head in. Push that in there. All right, we open the chest up again and we flip out that hood that clipped right in there okay so make sure you push the body all the way in there we go so for the arms fold the fist in and open up the panel uh, the shoulder bits uh, they actually have to there's no way of locking them in into that swivel so you just gotta guesstimate on how far you need to twist that piece all right do the same thing on the other side you try to get the uh the peg the shoulder part as far up as possible so you can connect those two shoulder bits together all right it could be a little bit difficult if they're not aligned 
Actually, that's okay. We can we'll fiddle with the arms a bit. Let's make sure they do go in. As you can see, there's a gap because I did not swivel it properly. All right, I'm gonna push them all the way up. So as far up as possible. Hopefully you did that at the beginning so you don't have to adjust it later. Come on. Just kind of loosen this up. Make sure everything goes together. Okay, so that looks good. And the doors look flush, which is good. All right, the easy part, the feet, just flip the toes and just um, twist those uh, legs around. And clip them together. Of course, you got to do it properly, unlike myself. All right, so there's the truck. I think they should have painted the side windows a little bit more there. So open up the gun, get the hook out, and you got to plug that in the back. And there you have it. This is uh, Generations Hoist. Please subscribe if you do like this video and also subscribe if you don't like this video. That'd be great. I'll see y'all next time.